Alright. Okay. What are you doing? Get on Deemer. Gonna do an abdominal exam on you today. Alright. That's great you too. So I'm gonna start the abdominal exam today with inspection. And um, I'm gonna be looking for any peristalsis, pulsations, any scars, any signs of trauma, any striae, any rashes, any lesions. I'm looking for um, color, pigmentation, and don't see any anything there. So now we're gonna go to auscultation and we're gonna auscultate the four quadrants for bowel sounds. So you can just relax and breathe normally, okay? Okay, bowel sounds are present in all four quadrants. And now we are going to auscultate the abdominal arteries. First, aorta. Renal. Iliac. Okay, no bruise or hurt. So now we're going to go to percussion. So first I'm going to percuss all four quadrants. And okay, there's timpani in all four quadrants. Now we're going to try to percuss the size of the liver, starting in an area of timpani, midclavicular line. Okay, so we mark it there. I'm gonna come up here. All right, mark it there. Take out my little tool, measure that. And the liver is approximately eight centimeters in the midclavicular line, okay? Now we're gonna percuss the spleen for enlargement. <clears throat> Lowest inner space. Take a deep breath in. Spleen remains tympanic. <clears throat> okay, now we're done with percussion and we're going to go to palpation, starting with light palpation in all four quadrants with one hand. Are, are you comfortable? Yeah. Okay, now we're going to go to deep palpation. So two hands and then a little deeper. I did not pull up his knees. I'm getting a good exam from him. Arms are at the side, he's very relaxed. Doing all four quadrants. Any tenderness there? Nope. Okay. And we're going to do the gastric area, umbilicus, and suprapubic area. So, okay? Yep. All right. <clears throat> now I'm going to uh, palpate the liver. And so this hand's going to go under the lower rib cage, and this hand's going to go here. And I've marked his liver about right here, so just a little underneath that. Now take a deep breath in. Okay, liver edge is smooth and not real tender. <laughs> now we're gonna check the spleen. And so I hook my hand around here. Now take a deep breath in. Okay, spleen's non-palpable. <clears throat> okay, now I'm gonna go, with, go ahead and palpate the abdominal aorta. So I'm gonna try to find pulsations in the upper abdomen, and it's easily found on him. If you had a close one that, you could probably see it popping over here. But. Okay, so the abdominal aorta is approximately 2.5 centimeters without expansion of pulsation. All right, now I'm going to uh, palpate the kidneys. So, go over here. Okay, and then now take a deep breath in. Okay, kidney's not palpable. Come back over here. Okay, deep breath in. Okay, kidney's non palpable on this side either. <clears throat> okay, 
And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, auscultate the femoral artery, palpate the inguinal nose, and palpate the pulses, okay? So now you always got to let the patient know that you're going to do this, right? <laughs> it's supposed okay. to fit most. Yeah. Well, it's two different ways. Okay, I'm going to this. All right. So, first thing I'm going to do is palpate the. All right. Pulses are symmetric and easily palpable. I don't feel any uh, adenopathy at all. And then we're going to get this torn glove off and the one that's not torn. And auscultate now. So I'm going to be putting the stethoscope in. Okay. You know where the artery is because you just palpated it. Okay. And I don't feel uh, any adenopathy. The pulses are symmetric, and I didn't um, detect any bruise on that. All right. So I'm pretty sure that's the normal part of the exam. Now, if the you, diastasis rectum, if you wanted to do any special exams, or if there was a need to do it, then you could you could do these. And one would be to check for any peritoneal inflammation. And how we might do that is, would you cough, please? Does that hurt? No. Your stomach? And then we do a heel tap. See how his belly does? Does that hurt? Mm -hmm. No, nothing hurts there. So. So we check for that, and then um, now we can check uh, for rebound tenderness. And remember, I said that's deep palpation. Let go, and if it hurts more when you let go, then that's rebound. So is that painful? Mm -hmm. Okay, what if I let go? Mm -hmm. Doesn't hurt more if I let go than when I push down. Okay, good. And now we'll check for uh, those signs of appendicitis that I told you about. So one would be tenderness at McBurney's point, and is that? Painful? No. Okay. Now I like to take your uh, leg and push it up against my hand. And does that hurt? Okay. That was the psoas sign. And now we're going to do obturator. And I'm going to go ahead and flex your flex your knee up like this. And then we're going to rotate. See anything there? Okay. And now rasping sign. And I'm going to palpate again deeply. Does that hurt on the right side when I push on your left side? Anything when I let go? Okay. Good. Okay. So there's no there's no rasping sign. And now I'm going to check for acute cholecystitis. And with that, I'm going to check the Murphy sign. So, hand under here again, a little medial to where we were before. And then take a deep breath in. And I didn't see any sudden cessation as an inspiration. And he didn't grimace, didn't say it hurt. So, um, that's a negative uh, Murphy sign. And then obviously, um, he doesn't have any bulging planks. And so, uh, we're going to, uh, anyway, we're going to check him for ascites anyhow. So, uh, this is going to be a shift of dullness, and I'm going to percuss out. And for him, it's going to be tympanic until you start to reach, like, posterior structures back here. And it's going to change a little bit. But um, we would go ahead and just do this. Get the idea on that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, take this in, put it up above your head, and then roll over onto your left side. And then this is the shifting dullness. It should, you know, if he had ascites, it would be bulging down here, but this is how we would check. So, check is would you mind putting your hands like this and press down a little further down over your abdomen yeah okay I'm going to check uh, for a fluid wave and remember that vibrations can be transmitted easily through fluid so you put your one hand on this side and and there's nothing because see he's stopping it from going through the fat right there and then there's no water back there so so no ascites and then I can show you how to do the uh, scratch test again to determine the size of the liver so I'm going to put that on there and then. <laughs> 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 
I like her. Wow, what do you know? <laughs> I don't know, sometimes I feel like it just gets tired as it gets closer to the <laughs> uh, Anyway, we determined that the liver border was in the places we already knew it was from percussing and, and from palpating. And then, at the end of the other exam, I had forgotten to check for uh, hernia or diastasis recti, so can you raise your shoulders up off the table just a bit? And then, I don't feel any hernias or anything, and I don't feel a big separation. That's what diastasis uh, recti is, okay? Put it right back down. <clears throat> CVA. CVA, okay. So now we're gonna check for CVA tenderness, and so they can see, would you turn, uh, bring your legs around and hang them off this side of the table and sit up? Yeah. All right. Oh, sure enough. Yeah. Sorry, my back is like sorry for Harry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Didn't think you had that up, did you? All shaving on the front. Yeah. <laughs> Does it hurt? No. That hurts? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> this, is, this is what you're doing. Is that it? Is this it? 